Hi everyone, I'm Benton Crane, CEO of Harmon Brothers. I'm Daniel Harmon, Chief Creative Officer at Harmon Brothers. We are super excited for what we have today. Today is the big day. It's going to happen. Now, around eight months ago, the world had to confront something we haven't dealt with in generations, or maybe even ever, at least not on this scale. And the implications for the pandemic for individuals, families, and businesses have been something most of us never thought we'd see. Business owners were worried, and many of them were floundering or shutting down as government-mandated quarantines suddenly meant they had no customers. And basically, we'd be lying if we didn't admit that we also worried, especially at the onset. And we still worry for friends, family, and others who are legitimately suffering. But when worry starts to creep in, I'm, remi I'm reminded of a quote by Gordon B. Hinckley when he said, the best, the best, um, sorry, the best antidote um, I know for worry is work. The best cure for weariness is the challenge of helping someone who is even more tired. One of the great ironies of life is this, he or she who serves almost always benefits more than he, than he or she who is served. So while times were uncertain, especially in the early weeks of the pandemic, we saw opportunity in our own business and new opportunity would also be there for anyone else looking for it. And taking that quote to heart, we decided to make that opportunity a little easier for others to find by creating this, the $100,000 poop to gold giveaway. Our goal was twofold. First, we wanted to share our more than 13 years of video marketing experience with others to find a company that we could help by donating a Harmon Brothers Sprint, uh, Sprint campaign. Second, and maybe even more importantly, we wanted to show people along the way that now is the time to push forward instead of pulling back. And we've hammered on that point during every stream and in the calls we've, ha um, we've had with our 70 plus winners along the way. And we honestly believe that um, what will set all of us apart in the long run is our ability to put our heads down and play the game even when everyone else is taking their ball and going home. Instead of waiting out the storm, we can choose to become stronger in the face of it. To match the earlier quote Daniel shared, Winston Churchill said, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Now that's from a guy who worked in government for 30 years. So he must have been pretty well trained in pessimism. <laughs> okay. We've seen many of our winners literally prove that point. And you'll hear from some of them in just a minute. We're even talking about companies who haven't gone on to be selected as finalists in this giveaway. And yet they've grown their revenue by 25% or 50% or even 200% just by putting into practice some of the lessons they've learned through their free Harmon Brothers University access or coaching as part of the competition yeah, it's or part of the giveaway. It's awesome to see the way you guys have taken the momentum of all this and magnified it to your own good. It's really, really inspiring. So as good as the products and services from these companies are, these finalists, or anyone that's put this into practice and really made it work for them, it really comes down to the fact that they've just adopted the attitude that when they're presented with the decision to sink or swim, they're going to choose to swim. So we're here today to announce the grand prize winner to our 100K Poop to Gold giveaway. But before we do, we want to congratulate all the entrants who put their hat in the ring. On May 1st, we announced this giveaway and saw hundreds of entrants. On May 29th, we selected 70 quarter finalist winners. Over the next several weeks, those 70 companies worked hard at creating ads, testing them, and in many cases, finding the kind of success we've been talking about. Even we were surprised by the results. Then on July 8th, we awarded 25 the title of semi-finalists. And of course, as they put in the work, the results followed. That's right. And finally, on August 7th, we assigned our creative directors to personally coach 10 finalists and, um, and lead us to this point today where we've selected one of them as a grand prize winner. They're all joining us right now on screen. At least I hope they are, if there's not any technical difficulties. And you should see them at the bottom um, 
the bottom of your screen somewhere. I, I would point, but maybe it's in the wrong place. <laughs> we'll everyone. Hi. <laughs> so give everyone a wave and, and welcome them here on this stream. So I wish we were all together at an announcement party rather than on a live stream, but this is about as close as we can get for now. The results these companies have produced is incredible, and we're so proud of the work they've done and the progress they've made. We recently got together with each of them via Zoom and asked them and um, the creative directors that, that have been working with them to tell us a little bit about, um, about their companies and their experience during the giveaway. Our team put together some short videos detailing a bit about these companies and their journey. So let's dive right in and get to know them each just a little bit. Marriage Helper exists to save marriages and strengthen families. I'm personally invested in Marriage Helper because I came across Marriage Helper when my marriage was in crisis and we were facing divorce with two small children and it was a lot. We, I was ready to give up. Um, I found Marriage Helper on a Google search, watched some videos and it just made sense. Um, and it transformed my marriage completely. Uh, that was two and a half years ago. Um, my husband is back. We are still married. Um, and it was a dramatic turnaround. And really that is attributed to everything I learned at Marriage Helper. I chose to coach Marriage Helper because I feel like marriage is important. It's important in my life. Obviously when people are married, it's important to them. So Marriage Helper actually began of a story that started in the 1980s when our founder, Dr. Joe Beam, actually divorced his wife. And for three years, he lived a life that he thought would be everything he wanted it to be, but realized at the end of that, that he felt more empty and broken than ever before. He went back to his wife, whose name was Alice, and asked her to take him back. So they went back at it, they got remarried, they made it work, and they took what their experience was, how they healed their marriage and how they moved forward. And from that created the process that we use today at Marriage Helper that has a 77% success rate at saving marriages. After Joe and Alice got remarried, they had a third child and that child is me. I wouldn't even be here today if my mom hadn't have done what she did by doing the right thing, taking my dad back, which not only was an amazing thing for my two older sisters to have their parents back together, but I have life and purpose and am here and on this earth today because my parents got back together. The problem that arose at the start of the pandemic was our website visitors dropped significantly by about 40% in March and April than the previous period. Um, we also had a challenge in our product, our main product, our turnaround weekend, which we could no longer offer in person, which we'd been doing for 20 years. Marriage Helper said that before the contest, they didn't do much video. And so it was all really new to them. Um, and it's a new way for them to advertise. And testimonials has been a big breakthrough for them. They have so many clients, uh, people who've gone through the course that want to share the story, that want to talk about it. And they've been really blown away by that response. So I'm not someone who's ever made video ads before or had any background in that at all, um, but I took the course myself and was able to get my team motivated quickly to develop some amazing video ads. And not only that, but it's really helped us focus on what feedback we're getting from our customer and what is our message that we want to send people. Um, and it's pushed us, it's really pushed us to develop amazing videos that we're using, you know, not just in our ads, but all over our organization. So we're not back up to the number of website visitors that we had pre-pandemic, but our sales are healthier now than they've ever been before. We're seeing more marriages impact by what we're doing, which is our ultimate aim. Um, the visitors and leads that we are bringing to our site seem to be more qualified than they were before, and we're seeing better results. The Marriage Helper team is really good at making goals, moving towards those goals, pushing hard. They've been great to work with. And so our team did an amazing job pivoting even in the middle of a pandemic when we were focusing on so many other things, did everything they could to enter this contest and every single level they were working hard, we were implementing, we were seeing results as a, we were seeing results from what we were doing and couldn't believe that we made it into the top 10. We have grown so much during this time. It's been so helpful and we're just so grateful to what Harmon Brothers does and the fact that they're able to help us with our mission to be able to reach more marriages and save more families.
Not only was that an amazing business case with their profits being the healthiest they've ever been, but what a touching story of a business that exists to help others with one of the most important aspects of their lives. Our next finalist is one that I've had the honor of working with myself. So let's take a look. Hi there, my name is Eve Ackerley and I'm the co-founder at Gen Z. Our mission is to become the most trusted and efficient way for busy parents to shop for their kids. So the story of Gen Z actually starts 5,000 miles away in rural China. My co-founder Kaelin and I were English teachers in Yunnan province, which is a pretty remote place. None of the clothes or shoes in our town fit us, so we ended up buying a ton of things online. However, they arrived and didn't fit, and Kaelin and I knew that shopping online isn't as easy as it seems. So when Carol and I moved back from China, we jumped into doing market research. Their story is very much about solving the headache of the shopping experience for, for buying kids shoes. It's always a question of, you, usually you'll have to take a kid to the store and get their foot measured, and then it's a little bit of a guessing game of what size will work in what brand. So we know that there was a big opportunity to grow with COVID, but the question was how? Paid ads on Facebook and Instagram have shown a lot of promise in early testing, but we wanted to make sure that we could scale that channel efficiently. So the founders at Gen Z are really good listeners. So when I sit down and I consult with them, they're just soaking it all up and then they turn around and they apply. And they've made all these really great ads that are very effective for them, outperforming anything they had done in the past. After running these ads over the past few months, we've gone from 15,000 to 65,000 users over COVID and been able to scale revenue by 700%. But after you get over one hurdle, you have another one coming your way. We're really excited to have figured out how to scale paid ads so efficiently and are focused on continuing this level of growth. I think Gen Z is going to do big things. Like regardless of what happens with them in the contest, they are again on a really high growth rocket ship and I think their business will likely materialize and evolve into something that solves things even like that solves problems for moms even beyond kid shoe shopping and I think that'll be really cool to see but for now they're really they're really doing a great job of taking care of their customers in that area. And I think they're only gonna get better at doing what they are in both the app experience as well as in their marketing. Really cool technology solving a real problem. And I would know because I have too many kids myself. So this next company is trying to make the world a better place for diabetics. Uh, one of the reasons I was really interested in looking into Kirlin is because diabetes, you know, for a number of years has been largely unchanged in how we treat it and how we um, manage it. The feedback we were seeing from users and all the, the testimonials were like, wow, this thing has changed a lot of people's lives. And I wanted to look into it and see if this was the real deal, because if it was, this is a game changer for a lot of people um, that suffer from this disease. Our founder, his name is Ron. Ron's father was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and no matter what they tried, it, it just wasn't helping. He was, had low energy, it was really affecting his ability to perform at a high level at work and it was really sad for this, this son to like see his dad like, like struggle like he was. So he kind of set off uh, on a quest uh, to find a, a solution for his dad because modern medicine wasn't helping his dad get back to where he was before. It was it, it was just a slow slog and struggle. So he traveled the world talking to all sorts of different Western and Eastern doctors to try and figure out what's the best way to manage diabetes and manage insulin in the body. So he tried many things. Curalin is the solution that actually worked and it worked for his friends and now it's worked for tens of thousands of diabetics around the world. The goal is to get Curalin into the hands of every diabetic in the world. Right off the bat, we got access to the Easy As That Self course, and part of that is doing homework. Uh, I am not a visual person. I am not a designer. I'm creative with ideas, but not with graphics or anything like that. But I was the one doing the course, and so I went on Animoto and made some really, <laughs> really not great looking ads and suddenly that ad became our control. Our CPAs on the first day of running the ad were insane. So one thing that's interesting about Carolyn is they're very experienced digital marketers who've had a lot of success um, with their team doing 
selling products online. And as they went through the Easy Ads Sell course, they still you know, wanted to give it a shot. They wanted to try it and see if it was something new, it could work. And immediately after they made a few of these ads, one of them just like became their top performer. And it was really eye-opening to them because the video tactics that we taught them in that course and the ad type they made were very different and radically different from what they had traditionally marketed with. And they were like, wow, there's, we're seeing performance here like we haven't seen. This opens up a lot of new opportunities for us that we're really excited to try out and experiment with because they kind of reached a cap where they were like, ah, oh, man, we, we can't really scale beyond this point. But now that they see there's all these different ad types that they are seeing traction with, they're very optimistic about like where they could go and the ceiling is made a lot higher now. The ad that I initially made was made for consumers, but with the Easy Ads format, I was able to make a new ad for geared towards professionals, towards doctors. Uh, it was a lead campaign and we're getting cost per leads for professionals cheaper than we were getting them for consumers back when we were running lead funnels. And keep in mind that every professional that converts is worth a tremendous amount of money because they're able to help all of their patients. It's really quite impactful, not just on the consumer side, but also on the professional side. It's a very positive product for society and I'm really excited for them. And, and I like that they're trying to do something good in their lives that can help other people and rather than just trying to sell something to someone. On top of the increases in performance, he mentioned, um, Dovi made a really important point there that they've essentially tapped into a new market with physicians as a result of their efforts through all of this. And that kind of breakthrough is huge and has the potential to really change their business going forward. Okay, this next one, um, this is a little close to home considering some of the brands we enjoy taking on here at Harvin Brothers. The, the brand is poop like a champion. And the, the objective is to get the world pooping better. Uh, one of the reasons I really like Poop Like a Champion is because it's actually a really good product that could help a lot of people because I have some people in my family that have struggled with digestive health and um, just like digestive problems that can be such a, an annoyance to their lives. Um, and it solves a real problem. It's not really being met or it's not being addressed in a way like where it's just, we have this product that can solve your problem in this way. And so it's very unique in that way. Uh, for us, initially, it was kind of like a side project and uh, a hobby, so to speak. And uh, as we kind of put it along, we realized the market potential of uh, our, our um, products. So I worked really closely with our cereal manufacturer in Nebraska to come up with this, this custom formula. Of course, the first objective was to deliver on brand promise. Uh, Poop Like a Champion is kind of a unique product because it started on Amazon um, and they were exclusively on Amazon and now they're realizing to really grow their company they need to get onto their own e-commerce site and get into retail and just seeing the reviews they have on Amazon it, it's very clear that there is a huge opportunity to get this to the broader market and that's the real challenge that lies ahead for them that we would love to help them expand those, those markets into retail and into their own, own online funnel and I think if they can they'll have a lot of success. So one of the great things that's happened um, for me and my department as a result of this challenge is when we got the Easy Ads That Sell um, course granted to us after that first round, I think it was. And we, uh, Carl and I both took the course and settled on a format. And what, what it did for me is it took all the complication and overwhelm out of getting a video ad made and up online. And you know, it's something that I had been wanting to do for quite a while, but it just seemed so, like so many other things had to be in place before we could do that. And you know, lo and behold, we were able to make that the first submission ad, uh, Carl and I, you know, shooting the footage on his, on his iPhone and, and pulling reviews off of our, our Amazon listing. And, and I created a little template and like, PowerPoint and, you know, finding someone on Fiverr to kind of put it all together and, 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 you know, sort of turn it into a video and going through that process, especially in a time crunch, just really showed me, um, how easy it is and how it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a perfectly polished ad. When we, we took what was in the ETA course and applied it to this launch, the average order value 
tripled uh, and it is staying there. Eating high fiber foods um, like Poop Bucket Champion regularly in your diet is a very good thing for your overall digestive health. And it's just a more enjoyable experience going to the bathroom. You know, nobody wants to sit on the pot for 25 minutes waiting for something to come out. This is, you know, it makes it so it's a much more enjoyable experience. And I think if they could nail that message and really help people understand the benefits of a high fiber diet and how their product really gives them that in a really easy, you know, New, easy way you're used to, like eating cereal, they're going to have a lot of success with people using their product on a regular basis. We're in just, you know, it's amazing to just be in such such great company um, to see the the semifinalists and then the finalists and and uh, who we're in this with. I just feel honored to be um, in their company and and I've learned a lot. I think. Uh, you know, especially that let just get something made and get it up online and start selling product and don't wait until all the pieces are perfectly, you know, in place and all the right professionals are doing it. And um, that's been a big, big learning for me. What a great example of the principle that done is better than perfect. They shot a video on their iPhone and used Fiverr to get it edited, and they tripled their average order value. So cool. The reviews are off the charts, and they're just plowing ahead. I love it. Okay, let's see our next finalist. Fresh Go has a product unlike any other product I've seen. Their product prevents fruits and veggies from spoiling as quick. You just place them in a fruit bowl or a vegetable bowl or in your fridge or in a salad package or anywhere that you have fresh produce and it helps it last way longer. So you don't waste it as much. I never thought that these crazy experiments in my garage would lead to something. I'd learned that the world's farmers were harvesting enough food to feed the planet, but we just weren't able to distribute food efficiently enough. It all actually started when I was in middle school and I was visiting my grandma in India. My mom warned me to be really careful about drinking the tap water. I accidentally drank almost an entire cup. But my grandma made this mixture of different spices and gave me like this murky brown spiced tea and I ended up not getting sick. The crazy thing, it, it works. <laughs> it really, it really does. Um, it prevented my fruits and veggies from getting sad before their time. And it just helps with the guilt when you let food go bad. One day I was grocery shopping with my mom and I noticed that all the strawberries seemed to have some fuzz growing at the bottom. That was when I had that first aha moment. We started with no funding. We had no experience and we had no resources, but at every step of the way, people came forward to help us because they believed in our mission. They believed in, in the idea that simple can be powerful. The clients themselves have been awesome to work with. They've been communicative, they've been grateful, they have been excited, and it's great to just feed off that energy and really try to, try to see a way forward, to see a strategy in place that will benefit their company the most where it's at. So much of, of making a difference is just understanding that, you know, usually you are enough. You have everything that you need to take the first step. It's crazy. They've hardly touched marketing at all. And yet they've been featured in the press, in various news articles, because their product is just so cool. So far to date, their product has been speaking alone for itself. You combine a great product with great marketing and you'll be unstoppable. And that's what I hope for Fresh Glow. Fresh Glow Co. is such a cool product that is not only saving people money, but helping to solve a food waste problem. Even people like Oprah and Rachel Ray have taken notice, so that's very cool. Our next finalist has a really exciting story of a family business that's seen some incredible results as they've pushed forward in the giveaway. So our product is Go Treads, which is a foldable traction device for vehicles of any size. I love GoTreads because they solve a huge problem in the market and their universality is massive. Who doesn't have a pair of tires underneath them right now that doesn't get stuck at least once or twice a year? GoTreads is something that my dad came up with because he was always getting stuck in his driveway. He lived north of Chicago, so he was looking for a way to get vehicles going again. And so GoTreads was really his way to be able to do something larger. Um, it was never about, hey, I want to I want to make a cool product and be a millionaire. It was always about, I want to make a cool product so that I can do things to help other people and not worry about money. It is a family business and I mean, it was my siblings and my parents. I mean, we were, we were running the company. I kind of caught the vision for it. I just saw that GoTreads was an opportunity to 
do something better for other people, not just a product and make a profit. And so um, I knew that Aaron needed help and I, I felt like that's something I could do. And that's where I step in. We were preparing for our, probably the largest trade show we've been to since the early 90s. Uh, it was a huge trucking show out east. It was gonna be, it was gonna be how we really nail 2020. It's this trade show, getting big fleet sales. We've been preparing for it for months. And then COVID started to hit and it started getting a little bit worse. And we're not sure this trade show is gonna happen. I mean, it was a massive show. Um, and then we got word that show was canceled. And then a week later, we got it where another show was canceled. And then there was a cascade effect of all of those trade shows that we typically go to in a year that really helped fund our business. Either were canceled or very likely were going to be. This was a big year also because they've been talking about, they've been doing smaller shows, one and two, maybe a year, maybe three. But this, this, this next uh, spring and, and summer season for 2020 was going to be about a dozen shows. So there was a lot of money spent and a lot of effort put into uh, getting to these shows and, and, and being a part of it. So I just wanted, it was a big move this year before we came across COVID. This was a year in planning. So the cool thing about GoTreads is they were able to take our Eats course early on. And one of the guys over there, Aaron Pinto, is actually a creative director himself. He works for a different company and you've got to see the ad they've made. They are so on point. Following our Eats and kind of labs model, they've created these very pithy, hard-hitting, clear messaging ads that absolutely get you in and out of the problem, the solution, and the testimonials within 30 to 45 seconds. Heck, they've even got a 14 to 15 second version, which is just brilliant, and they're killing it online. We were doing okay before that, but after we did that, I mean, it was exponential growth. Really, the first quarter of 2020 was pretty stagnant because we at that time we were still doing trade shows so starting in April up until now we have tripled our sales from what we did last year and last year was a good year I mean so it's not like we did a tiny bit of sales tripling sales when you haven't had many sales not big of a deal but for us last year was really good and to be able to triple sales and more than replace any income that we would have made in trade shows we've already done that and it's it's only August this product has so much scale and we're just at the very cusp of it. There's just so much, so many places it can go. Those are the kind of results that you can't help but smile at. As you mentioned, GoTreads was initially hit really hard by the effects of the pandemic because trade shows were such a huge part of their business. But as you just saw, it's a blessing in disguise from a business standpoint. Let's take a look at the next finalist. My Little Mascara Club is a club where you can get mascara on subscription. My Little Mascara Club is awesome because of their thoughtful product. Mascara is a common item in a makeup bag, so why not have the best one? It was around the time that I realized I was literally trying to Frankenstein together my mascaras that I thought, wait a second, maybe there's a better way here and maybe I can help create it. When you are building a business, there is no shortage of things to spend your time on and different things to focus on to try and grow it. It's literally what you do all day, every day for the most part. Um, so the thing that has been the most helpful to me about this opportunity to participate in the Poop to Gold giveaway was the fact that hearing from these experts that have done so much with video communication and video ads, what to focus on was so helpful for me. My Little Mascara Club is a startup in its earliest phases, but you wouldn't guess that looking from the outside in. It recently started as a company and then they just shot up and they're scaling very, very quickly, which means that they're poised for marketing initiatives to come in and really stretch them to grow even more, to take this momentum and just roll down the mountain with it. I'm super excited to see My Little Mascara Club grow and super stoked to see how much it grows more in the future. As we were approaching our entry into the market, we were right alongside this Poop to Gold giveaway. Incredibly, we've actually, our sales in March are $300, which was not good. Our sales in July were over $16,000, which were very good. 
So we are growing really, really fast as a company and really excited to see where we can go. Being a part of this giveaway is something that will pay off for me for a really long time. I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to access all of the Harmon Brothers education. I know it's gonna pay off in the long term incredibly well for my company. When I first had the chance to start chatting with the Harmon Brothers, I think they weren't sure what our company could do because we were so young. But we have had massive growth over the last few months and here we are in the top 10, which is something that is so exciting to me. And all during this year where I really wasn't sure what in the world was going to happen to my business because of all the craziness out there. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity to have been a part of this competition and looking forward to trying to kill it in the top 10. I'm actually wearing my little mascara clubs mascara right now. It's very uh, long, luscious lashes. It, it really does work. Um, I'm probably going to continue using it long after this giveaway. What a way to launch a new business, right? <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic where normally that type of product would be sampled at a retail makeup counter. I love how they've just been buckling up and going for gold. So cool. All right, speaking of, speaking of buckling up, let's roll our next finalist, Punts. Hi, I'm Dahlia Rizik and I am the founder of Buckle Me Baby Coats. I invented and sell coats that are designed for the car seat that parents can put on at home and use safely in the car seat. I do what I do because I feel like parents have so many worries and so many responsibilities that they deal with and I feel like a puffy coat, something that should keep your child warm in the winter time should not be something that's unsafe. It should just not be a dangerous product that parents have to worry about. I was super excited to work with Buckle Me Baby Coats. As a mom, I didn't know that you're not supposed to have a coat, a bulky coat on a kid in a car seat. And obviously you want to keep them warm, so like, how do you balance that, right? And that's where Buckle Me Baby Coats comes in. And so I thought it was a very interesting product that solves a real problem that many people have. I thought of Buckle Me Baby Coats when my daughter was really little. And at the time I was raising a young family, I was going through my master's program, and I didn't have a way to speak to consumers directly. I, I tried to talk to manufacturers, they were mostly not very interested. But the idea always stuck with me. And then uh, probably about three and a half years ago, I was walking through the parking lot at work and I saw a mom and she had a, her daughter and her daughter had a blanket on and she's dragging that blanket through the slush and she looked miserable and defeated the way I felt when I first thought of the coats and I thought to myself, I can't believe that's still not a thing. This is still an issue. And so I had a sample made and I bribed my nephew with a lot of jelly beans <laughs> to make a video for me. And I threw up the video on Facebook just to see what would happen. I, I didn't have manufacturing. I had no production background or anything like that. I just wanted to see, do people want this as much as I wanted it? And it just took on a life of its own. People wanted it. I had to scramble to figure out production and you know, it grew and, and became way more than a side hobby, and here we are. One of the best things about being in this Harmon contest was that providing that easy ads that sell format and showing, you know, you could make an ad this way, you could make an ad this way, you could make an ad this way, it gave me the opportunity to create way more ads than I normally have. I mean, usually I have maybe two or three ads running because I thought, how many ways can you talk about this one thing, like this is a car seat safe coat? But it turns out <laughs> there's a whole lot of ways you could talk about this one thing. And I was able to use a lot of footage that I have, but create brand new ads that are not going to suffer from the same ad fatigue that I had without having to rely on children that I don't have access to because of COVID. Dahlia had made a lot of videos within the course of the challenge, and we went through those together and kind of simplified some of the copy, uh, presented them in an order that we felt like helped bring the customer to the sale and it's been a lot of fun working with her. This competition has just added so much value. The course content and the timeline that you have to get through the course content <laughs> just really lets you walk away with so much, whether or not you win the prize. I mean, obviously winning the prize is amazing, but you still walk away as a small business with these amazing ads, with a lot of resources, with a ton of information. Um, it just really an incredible experience and I couldn't be more grateful. If Buckle Me Baby Coats wins, I think it'd be a really fun ad to work on. There's a lot of visual things we could do. They have a lot of data behind them to show how effective the coat is. It's, it's a clear problem solution, which we love. And, uh, you know, she's doing great things with the company. I'm excited for her.
Alia has shown incredible drive. She's out there solving a serious problem and doing an amazing job. She has a patent, and while that type of product can be a challenge just because the fashion industry can be a challenge, she's seen incredible results and isn't letting anything stand in her way. Let's take a look at a company who's finding creative ways of dealing with supply chain problems brought on by the pandemic. Personally, I chose Primary Goods because their market space is so huge and they have a, an amazing, innovative, quality product. Their differentiator is that they have these snap-ons for sheets so that making your bed doesn't have to be such a chore every single day. It keeps your bedroom nip-tuck. Everything just looks clean and, and just that perfect clean-cut look while having this very sexy look in your bedroom. We started off in 2013 knowing that there were three pillars to uh, a healthy life. There's, so there's healthy food, there's uh, healthy living, so exercise, and then there's healthy sleep. Of those three, we spend the most time, eight hours a day, on sleep, right? And we thought that, hey, if we could come in and make people's days just slightly better in the morning so that they're more incentivized to make their bed before they head out for work, then regardless of how difficult or painful of a day they might have, they'll at least come home to something that's organized, that's well-made, and that's most importantly inviting. And we believe that it is worth it, you know, it is worthy of our, basically, our livelihood, our, our working life to try to improve that aspect of people's life for them. Primary Goods started on Kickstarter. We had a successful fundraising campaign, and once that ended, we shifted whole to e-commerce, focusing on our side, building out our team, building out our, our product offerings, uh, with the intent of just growing and growing quickly. So one of the coolest things about Primary Goods is they're a seven to 11 man team. They're a relatively small team, and yes, they wear multiple hats, but they do it in an appropriate and efficient way. They're not biting off more they can chew, they're not taking on too much. And so the cool thing about this is we know that they're actually keeping their costs as a company down responsibly. We were surprised to see that like the, the home goods sector was kind of had a lift because so many people were stuck at home and they wanted to make quarantine more bearable. But the fulfillment side, all of the, the shipping and everything uh, across the nation and across the world kind of came to a halt because of COVID. So then we had to think, how do we rework this? How do we keep the brand alive? How do we keep people you know, interested in the product and educated, even though they might not be getting the product for a while? And it came down to education. It was the UGC Eats video. It was testimonial and use case ads from the, from the Eats course that showed people like, people are enjoying this now, they've had it for a while. Uh, this might be worth waiting for. We've seen a bump in revenue. We've seen a bump in overall engagement and shareability. I don't think we've had as many like influx of comments as we've had on some of the videos until now. Yeah, primary goods, these guys are brilliant creatives and great ad buyers. They're gonna kill it. I don't know if there's a scarier position to be in when you're ready to ramp up and everything is, is aligning, except your inventory. I love their approach in trying to stay top of mind despite their challenges when most other companies would just throw up their hands. That's a company that realizes these are the times when brands can either fade away or they can emerge as winners and stand the test of time. Okay, our last finalist, a really fun business that's just on fire right now doing some amazing things. Take a look. So Creative With Love is a date night subscription box company. So every month we make a brand new theme that we've never done before and we ship it to all of our subscribers. And then once we pass that month's theme, we put them available as one times for individual purchases. Our mission is to be able to provide that date night that not only gives them that time together, but actually does something for their relationship. So it improves their relationship, it gets them talking, gets them laughing, and just creates a stronger bond. The history of Creative With Love is pretty awesome. Tyler and Michelle were finding that they were having a hard time planning date night, and so they made a date night in a box uh, that really helped them, and it's, it's helped a ton of other couples too. So it's kind of this, you know, they solve their own need, and hey, it turns out it can solve a ton of other people's needs too. Once we started this Poop to Gold contest, we were able to learn a bunch of marketing tactics that we didn't know before. We were able to throw out a bunch of ads that didn't cost us too much to make. So we did like, you could call it like prototype versions of the ads where we used stock footage, we used uh, whatever we could find in, in the office to make them. And then once we knew they worked, we were able to invest more money into it. Creative With Love is killing it right now. Once they applied some of these easy ads that sell, um, they've been seeing a parabolic sales curve, like 
amazing growth, amazing revenue. Tons of people stuck at home wanting good date nights and they're really capitalizing on that. So ever since starting the Cook to Gold Challenge and being able to implement these marketing tactics into our own marketing, um, we've consistently hit at least 300% year over year growth in sales. The fact that we're making uh, so many more sales and we're shipping out a lot more boxes across the board, we're just doing a whole lot better since we started these cold traffic ads. We're no longer limited to you know, search ads, which are limited to the number of people searching for that. We are able to go out and find new people that have never heard about us before. I'm thrilled with the success that they're having right now. They're really taking advantage of the moment. Um, I could only see this building into more and more of a movement kind of a thing. Like they are going to be the family, marriage, builder, fun, date in a box company. Um, I'm excited to see where it goes. I love their approach to testing before pouring big resources into any single ad, then finding what works and coming back to, refined, to refine and invest in those assets. You can tell that's a team that just gets it, and their numbers really reflect it. Looking at all these 10 companies, I can honestly say there's not a single one of them that doesn't deserve the grand prize, and I wish we could create campaigns for all of you. That would be amazing. but. Whether you're a finalist or maybe you're watching this live stream and didn't even enter the contest to begin with, what we've just seen from these companies should spur ideas and new perspectives and give you hope for your own business in the future. If you're struggling right now or you don't know where to go next, take the advice of Barack Obama when he said, the best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good, good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. Now, if you feel like that quote was a little too political for you, don't worry, I have a quote for you from the other side of the aisle in just a <laughs> second. See, through this giveaway, we tried to give as much as we could while still taking care of our own clients and our own business. We're proud of what we've been able to give, but we always wish we could do more. Ronald Reagan said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Our hope is that some of you who have found success can look for ways to help others find it too. We're going to continue to do the same, not just with this Harmon Brothers Sprint campaign, but beyond as well. We're looking for the next way we're going to help on a large scale. That's right. So now all of that work and the results have been amazing for us to see and honestly any one of these companies would be a fantastic for a Harmon Brothers Sprint campaign. In fact, let's talk for just a minute about what a Harmon Brothers Sprint campaign is and then what we're looking for in the grand prize winner. Uh, Harmon Brothers, we're really well known for our elaborate three to five minute hero campaigns that feature memorable characters in ads that both brand and sell. These are what we call our hero campaigns. They're the videos most of you are probably familiar with. Think about Poopery, Squatty Potty, Lumi Deodorant, Chat Books, Purple Mattresses, etc. These videos have obviously been incredibly effective for our, in clients, for our clients. In fact, most of these companies, most of these campaigns have helped our clients scale by tens of millions of dollars. But to be honest, not every company is ready for that kind of growth. So several years ago, we created a simplified version of our conversion video that still focuses on driving sales, but that has less of the branding elements and world building you see in our hero campaigns. And we call, we call a Harmon Brothers Sprint campaign, I mean, that's, that's what this is. This, we've basically stripped some of that stuff down and made it into what we call a sprint campaign. And essentially, a, a sprint is more quickly executed um, sales video designed to help small businesses deliver their message and rapidly go, grow sales. Harmon Brothers sprint campaigns enable us to work quicker and at a lower price point than our more elaborate videos. And they're great for companies who are in what we often call the nail it phase. But I should mention, we also have well-established clients like Lumi, for example, who use sprint campaigns to augment their messaging and literally drive millions of dollars in trackable sales. So while sprint isn't as fancy as a term as hero, these really can be powerhouses for both well-established as well as newer brands. 
And to illustrate the difference between um, these two, the hero and the sprint, let's let's take a look at a clip of a hero video we created for Murphy Ladder. Ladder luchador, but this isn't a ladder, or is it? Ah! Ah! The truth is, normal ladders are great for wrestling, but are too bulky, long, and awkward to use around the house. No. Because most ladders are such a pain, you set up for laziness. So that was a hero video, and here's a clip from our Murphy Ladder Sprint. It's easy to carry, quick to set up, and compact to store. Basically, the complete opposite of children. Stranger? Ah, nothing. Uh, but he's so cute! <laughs> With its patented side latch technology, you can compact the Murphy ladder from tree size to vacuum size in just seconds. And with its quick release knobs, you can easily change from an A-frame to a leaning ladder or to an extended ladder. Or to a bazooka. So speaking of Murphy ladder, one of the lucky viewers today, one of you is going to walk away with one of these incredible ladders that Ben has right here Ugh. in the corner. We're gonna get this guy and to enter. All you need to do is be commenting on the thread, on the live stream, and you're in. Um, maybe let us know what you want, you know, who you want to win out of the 10 finalists or what you had for dinner this morning or dinner this morning or breakfast. Wait, <laughs> have to go. Talk about food, whatever it is, we won't judge. But yeah, just get a comment in. Okay, so that's a brief view of what a Harmon Brothers Sprint campaign is and what the winner will be receiving today. Let's speak for one more minute about how we selected the grand prize winner. We asked ourselves questions like, is the business making the world a better place? Is the business pushing forward? Are they putting in the work? Can the product or service be presented in a problem solution format? Is the market ready for the business? Is the business ready and able to put money into their ad buying? Is the business and its systems ready to handle an influx of customers? Are we excited about the product or service? And honestly, every finalist met most of these criteria, which made it really hard. So um, you guys saw it. They're just they're an incredible crop of companies. I'm so grateful to have been able to work with each one of them. But before we announce the grand prize winner, let's give away this Murphy ladder over here in the corner. So Keith, do we have a name? Someone yes, we come do. In? Okay, what do we got? Jacob Shamey. Jacob Shamey. Here it is, Jacob. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. If you send an email to Keith at HarmanBrothers.com. That's K-E-I-T-H at HarmanBrothers.com. He'll coordinate getting this awesome ladder out to you. All right. It's here. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's announce this name and then pull them up on screen to get some reaction and ask them about their business. Well, and I think we've got a little bit of technical difficulty. We might not be able to get them on screen. But we have them on the phone. Got right? it. Is that what we're, I'm understanding? We're going phone. We're going to go phone so you can at least hear their voice. So let's Envelope, out. please. Envelope. Give me a drum roll. Go Treads! Congratulations! Congrats, Go Treads! You are the grand prize winner and we'll be creating a sprint video campaign for you. And is it Aaron? Have we got you on the line? Yeah, I, I am here and in a little bit of a shell shock. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Shell shock's a good thing. That's so cool. Well, tell me tell me what you're feeling. What's what's going through your head right now? Man, it's I mean it's overwhelming because I mean the ten finalists, I mean everyone's awesome. Um, I think the, the term that we heard over and over today was gratefulness. And I mean, definitely, we fall in that same category. We're incredibly grateful for what we've been been through. It's it's been great being in with these other nine companies. I feel like we, you know, we're all on different journeys, but I think we're all heading in a, in a very good place. And that's that's thanks to you guys and what you've been able to do with this contest. So definitely grateful, overwhelmed, not sure what to say because this is 
I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I don't think I've ever won anything before. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like you. I don't feel like I ever win anything. So it's cool to be on the giving end of that. So, Aaron, now that you are the grand prize winner of the Harmon Brothers $100,000 Poop to Gold giveaway, awesome. what are you going to do next? <laughs> They're closed, Benton. They're closed. <laughs> you can't go there. <laughs> I'm going to get some tater tots at Sonic. Oh, there you go. Get some tater tots at Sonic. That's awesome. Oh, man. Well, Aaron, I have to say the decision between these 10 finalists was so hard for our entire team. But Go Treads and the problem that you're solving for anyone who has a car as well as the progress you've made and the success you've found, all of it has kept you bubbling to the top in every selection meeting that we've had throughout the giveaway. And actually, there are several employees here at Harmon Brothers who have already gone and purchased their own set of GoTreads. <laughs> so we're super excited, and we get to work with you and to help bring your product to people across the country and eventually across the world. So congratulations. Thank, I mean, thank you so much. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Um, we're incredibly humbled by it, very grateful, and we can't wait to get started. So excited. Awesome. I, I don't want to buy mine, Aaron. I want you to send me some free ones. <laughs> <laughs> but I will we'll buy them if you don't. I still will buy them because <laughs> I need them. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, and now you all know that Harmon Brothers is a very frugal company. <laughs> Again, I will if he doesn't. Never mind. I should go on the record for that. Awesome. So we've got a team of writers. Um, we're gonna get um, you all hooked up with Aaron, as well as a creative director, producer, really the entire team ready to dig in over the next six or so weeks and nail this campaign and create something that we really believe will help take your amazing business to. Um, and just amplify it, take it to a point where GoTreads becomes uh, much more of a household name. So that's the goal, and we're really looking forward to working with you to make that happen. Yeah, us too, and we have absolute faith that's going to happen. You guys know what you're doing, and it's, it's awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Congrats, and thank you for calling in. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch with you shortly. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, yeah, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Okay, we're looking forward to documenting this entire process with GoTreads. We want to share the ups and the downs. We want to share the behind the scenes of what it takes to pull off a Harmon Brothers Sprint campaign. And obviously, follow it through. We want to share the insights and actual results as we go. So you'll find all that content here on YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, anywhere you follow us on social media. Thank you to everyone who joined us. Thank you to all of the participants in the giveaway. Order finalists, semi-finalists, finalists, anyone who threw their hat in the ring. It's awesome. Yes, it's, uh, it's such a pleasure to see the work that you've done and that you're going to continue to do and the progress that you've made. So stay in touch with us. Um, if we can continue to help, please don't hesitate to reach out. All right. Let's get out there and turn crappy situations into gold. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.